Hi, good morning. Dr. Nats here. Hari ni kita akan borak tentang sunscreen. Because sunscreen ni ada banyak sangat benefit and ramai yang tak masukkan sunscreen dalam skincare routine. So, I think it's very important for you to listen. And today, I akan discuss about kebaikan dan keburukan physical and chemical sunscreen. Okay, so untuk physical sunscreen is actually uh, as the name implies it is a uh, physical dia macam perisai dia shield dekat kita punya kulit so dia bila kita apply dekat muka dia akan stay dekat lapisan the surface kita punya kulit and bila matahari jatuh ke skin kita dia akan reflected so dia macam shield okay for example ingredients adalah zinc oxide and titanium dioxide What are the benefits of physical sunscreen? Nombor satu, dia adalah broad spectrum. So, they cover UVA, they cover UVB. And number two, bila pakai, dia terus ada effect. For example, you don't have, uh, bila you apply, you don't have to wait like 10 minutes or 20 minutes before it works. Jadi, uh, it's very convenient. Number three, it lasts longer than chemical sunscreen. However, kalau you uh, buat outdoor activity, uh, activity ataupun you berpeluh, so you have to reapply. And then uh, number four, uh, sebab dia deflect the heat kan, the cahaya matahari, make it suitable untuk mereka yang ada masalah rosache ataupun redness or flushing. Okay, and then the next benefits adalah dia sits on our skin. Dia tak masuk, dia tak absorb. So, it's not uh, pore close, clogging. Dia takkan uh, sumbat you punya pori. So, sesuailah mereka yang ada masalah acne prone ataupun oily skin, uh, physical sunscreen ni is suitable for you. Okay, the last one, physical sunscreen, they have longer shelf life compared to chemical sunscreen. So now move on to the cons ataupun disadvantages of physical sunscreen. Dia mesti ada kebaikan dan keburukan, right? So keburukan uh, physical sunscreen, I can say that number one, uh, bila you berpeluh, kita boleh rub macam you berpeluh, uh, dia boleh senang uh, rub off. Maknanya tertanggal daripada you punya kulit. So you have to reapply uh, especially when you do outdoor activities. And uh, it may leave white cast. Maknanya some sunscreen yang ada physical ni, uh, dia bila you pakai, you nampak putih. So that is physical ingredients lah. But nowadays, dia dah ada uh, tinted formulation. So, you can use um, the alternative. Alright. And the uh, next one may create occlusive film. Or dia, bila you apply dekat kulit, uh, dia macam uh, buat occlusive. So, dia tutup kan pori you. It's not tutup pori. It covers your pores and menyebabkan you lagi senang berpeluh. So, that's why I ada juga receive soalan lah. Doktor, kalau pakai sunscreen, buat rasa berpeluh, is it normal ke tak? Yes, actually it's normal especially kalau you punya sunscreen ada physical uh, uh, sunscreen ingredients. Okay, next is chemical sunscreen. Okay, untuk chemical sunscreen ataupun inorganic sunscreen is everything else selain daripada dua tadi. Contoh, oxybenzone, tinosorb and another one is avobenzone. Ada banyak lagi but you don't have to know everything. You can always check how it works. So, bila you apply the chemical sunscreen on your skin, bila UV rays hit uh, sentuh you punya kulit, dia akan change into heat, into harbor and release the heat from the skin. So, dia akan ada um, changing of the UV rays into heat and disperse. So, what are the benefits? Apa dia punya pros? Nombor satu, dia punya texture usually thin dan dia senang nak spread. And number two, uh, less is needed. You tak perlu pakai banyak. Tapi dia ada banyak cons lah. Basically, the disadvantage nombor satu, you need to re, uh, you need to apply about 20 minutes. Lepas tu, baru you boleh expose to the sun. And then number two, because uh, dia 
change the UV rays into heat um, jadi untuk orang yang ada masalah redness, rosacea, sensitive skin it might not be suitable okay and uh, number three basically it can cause stinging uh, especially bila dia drop into your eyes so the questions uh, I always receive is which one is suitable, chemical or physical sunscreen? To be honest, um, any sunscreen is okay, any sunscreen is good provided they're comfortable then you rasa best bila pakai sunscreen tu. Okay, um, that's all about sunscreen. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, siapa yang belum subscribe my YouTube channel, uh, please do so. And if you have any questions, boleh ask below.